Hey everyone, it's Mama G coming at you live from my kitchen. So I wanted to show you how the greens are doing. Here's our greens. They have just been springing up. Check it out. Those microgreens are amazing. If you can see them. They just have been growing like crazy. I already snagged some last night, of course. But I am going to do something real quick. I'm gonna just give it a little bit of love here before throwing it on an avocado toast sandwich that I'm gonna show you how to make. Okay, so we're just kind of giving it a little bit of water soaking. What I'm gonna end up doing after this is we're gonna end up putting it in the fridge. So it will so it will keep for a while. So right now I'm gonna set over here. We're gonna get some avocado. I got my homemade bread that we did just two days ago. And then I already got a avocado open. I'm gonna turn you around. But first things first, obviously, toast your bread. Make it nice and toasty. Put whatever oil that you might like on. So I got the toast here. And all I'm gonna do is, after I toasted it, put some butter on it. I'm gonna take my avocado you want a ripe avocado because you want it to spread real nicely. So I'm gonna just take some avocado out of the container here. I'm gonna spread it over my toast. Just kind of spread it um, with it. The riper it is, the easier it's gonna spread across your toast. Now, now with that butter underneath, kind of gives it a nice uh, flavor, but this avocado toast, guys, it's the easiest thing in the world to make. But avocado has a, a lot of good uh, fatty acids that you need. And then what I like to do is also, I like to add a couple tomatoes. I'm gonna just slice myself up one or two cherry tomatoes. Set it on there for color or whatnot. Um, probably one more. And then I like to just take and grab out of my little container here, grab out some of these microgreens and just set them right there on top. Um, seeds and all because they're sprouted. It's kind of nice to just put a little bit on there. And I like to take a little bit of salt and just sprinkle that on top. This here is um, a mixture of a little smoke salt and, uh, and black salt. And then I just sprinkle a little of that on there. And literally, that, my friends, is avocado toast with microgreens. Enjoy. Mmm, so good. Seriously, really good. <laughs> now is the time that we want to put these greens into containers so we can preserve them for a little while. So what I'm doing is I'm taking these greens right here, counter, and I'm going to be putting them in these little jars. And that what that does is it helps to leave it open. I just set them in my fridge, lightly cover them, and um, so that way they're not sitting there in, in water and you know having issues. So all I'm doing is taking it and by the handfuls and tossing them in there. It's really that easy. I mean, all of these, you can literally eat all of this because it's not, there's, it's not grown in dirt, so it's all clean. Um, 
sanitary to just toss them in here like this. And they will, they will retain for probably up to a week, as long as it's not, uh, as long as it's not slimy when you take it out of the jar, but I just grab it by handfuls, little handfuls of it, and stick it in the jar here. And all of these you can eat. Like I said, it tastes great on sandwiches, salads, what have you. I just lightly pack them into these jars, mason jars, and then they quietly sit in my fridge until I'm ready to use them. That simple, saves you money, saves you time, and uh, a clean, healthy way to eat. So, I'll be doing more later, uh, growing things in the kitchen and showing few homestead hacks along the way. So happy, uh, happy eating and we'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.